we are gaveled in to the Subcommittee of Tourism, Trade, and Export Promotion. So good morning for all of you watching on the live stream. Welcome to Las Vegas. Uh, this is the first ever field hearing, like I said, of the Subcommittee on Tourism, Trade, and Export Promotion. Here, we're right here inside the world-renowned Las Vegas Convention Center. We're going to discuss the economic impacts of U.S. sports and entertainment economy. And I'd like to thank Chair Cantwell and Ranking Member Cruz for their leadership and for supporting the work of this critical, critical subcommittee. And I'm proud to welcome the subcommittee to Las Vegas today because Nevada, I don't have to tell anyone, has long been a leader in travel and tourism. From the excitement and energy of our Las Vegas Strip to the magnificent outdoor opportunities at Lake Tahoe and the impeccable and vast public lands throughout our state, people from around the world love to visit Nevada. The Silver State is the global entertainment destination as well. In fact, this year alone, we're welcoming a number of major events. Well, Beyonce's here this weekend, and Taylor Swift was here not so long ago, so need I say any more about that? Uh, but Nevada is also quickly becoming a global destination for sports. We're home to the Stanley Cup champion Vegas Golden Knights, and for us women, the WNBA champion Las Vegas Aces. In the next six months, we're going to host Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix and the Super Bowl. In total, Las Vegas is set to host a staggering 39 significant sporting events or tournaments through 2024, solidifying our city's reputation as a premier sports destination, attracting athletes, fans, and tourists from around the world. And these events, while well, they're boosting our tourism economy, they're creating thousands of good paying jobs, well, and they're supporting Nevada small businesses. And to get there, our city, with the help and support of the many witnesses here today, well, we grew to meet the needs of the sports and entertainment economy, notably with the creation of venues focused on enhancing the fan experience. In the last seven years, four large sports venues were built in our city, including Allegiant Stadium and T-Mobile Arena, which added 104,000 seats to the city's entertainment venues and generated an additional $1.5 million in annual ticket sales. And next month, the highly anticipated sphere, which I recently toured, will open as well, creating a new and uh, uh, phenomenally unique uh, entertainment experience. So I can't talk about what I saw, but again, what I can say is this cutting edge entertainment venue includes a dazzling 580 thousand square foot LED exterior and an immersive sound system that provides individualized sound to every seat. And it's because of the significant impact of the travel and tourism industry that we have on Nevada's economy that this is really the reason that we're here. It's the reason I've asked them here. It's a priority for me to lead this subcommittee along with leaders in our community because we have to be sure that in every single way, the Senate boosts travel and tourism to help Nevada, and of course, it's going to help other states around the nation. So today, the subcommittee is going to examine the, large, the impact of large sporting and entertainment events on our local economies. We're going to talk about strategies for attracting international events to the United States, and best practices for cities and states that welcome a large influx of visitors for these type of events. And what makes this hearing for me even more exciting is the amazing panel of witnesses I am so proud to work with every day that we have testifying. They're industry leaders, they're local and community leaders, and we're proud to have them here today representing MGM Resorts International, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, the Las Vegas Raiders, and the Vegas Chamber. 
Like I said, each witness here today really is a pillar of our Las Vegas community. And they've really dedicated their lives to making our city a truly remarkable place, not just to live, but to visit. So I want to thank you all for being here, and I look forward to your testimony.